In this work, we present cross-view transformers for real-time map view semantic segmentation. Autonomous driving consists of perception, planning, and control. From raw sensor data, the perception stack first builds a representation of the surrounding scene. Next, the planner uses this to determine a safe trajectory for the vehicle. This trajectory is then turned into steering and acceleration by control systems. And in this talk, we'll focus on the first part, on how to build effective representations for driving. Before any planning can be done, we first need to know what is happening in our surroundings. Perception systems do this by building an abstract representation of the scene, typically in the form of a map. This encodes information on where the vehicles are, where the road is, where the pedestrians are, and so on. And while we humans can do this just by looking, autonomous vehicles today use a variety of different sensors to see the world. So here's what a self-driving car looked like back in 2007. The cars today look a little bit sleeker, but under the hood are using just about the same sensor suite. There's GPS and IMU for localization, radars, cameras, and the centerpiece for perception systems, the LiDAR sensor. So there's a couple of reasons why LiDAR is such an awesome sensor. It gives you very accurate depth measurements for the scene and can see just as well as night as during the day. And another major advantage that LiDAR has is that the measurements very nicely align with the output representation that we need for driving, a top-down 2D map. However, there still are a few issues. If we take a look at just how much these sensors cost, we can see it gets expensive very quickly as resolution increases. And even if price isn't a factor, the best LiDAR sensor that money can buy today has 128 channels, which is just slightly above the resolution of the first digital cameras back in the 70s. And if we compare LiDAR scan and camera image side by side, we can really see the differences in resolution, especially for objects further in the scene. In this presentation, we'll show how to build scene representations similar to those from LiDAR-based systems, but we'll do this using RGB images alone. We'll use the set of cameras mounted around the vehicle to predict what's going on around us. Specifically, we're given a set of camera views along with calibrated pose and intrinsics, and our goal is to predict the dense map view segmentation of the scene. Previous works build this map by going through monocular depth estimates. For every pixel in the image, we'll predict the depth and project the information from different views into a shared 3D space. And these methods work well if the depth estimates are accurate, but they cannot consolidate different estimates from multiple views, nor do they make use of views partially overlapping. In this work, we'll show a way to solve these issues with a simple reformulation of the problem. Rather than going from 2D to 3D, we do the opposite. For any point in the map view, if we knew the height at that point, we can actually directly map back into the camera view, which simplifies the task quite a bit. To illustrate this in a bit more detail, for any xy point in the map, if we knew how high above the ground this point was, we could easily find in the image where this point maps to. And in reality, we don't actually know the height, but for a minute, let's just assume we do. So here on the right is the projective mapping between the two points, and what we can do is simply convert this into a simple distance metric in the form of a dot product. By now, this relationship looks a lot like a tension where the points in the world are our queries and the pixels in our images are the keys. But there's still one issue in that we don't know the full 3D position. So what we can do is simply build it up inside of a transformer as a part of a positional embedding. So to go through the full architecture, we'll first take the images and encode them with this camera aware positional embedding, where each pixel's positional embedding is given by the intrinsics and extrinsics of each camera. And you can think of these embeddings as vectors that point from the center of each camera to the pixel on the projected plane. After we encode these images, the map view embedding, which is learned during training, goes through multiple iterations and builds up an ever more accurate estimate of the geometric layout of its surroundings. Finally, the decoder produces the map view segmentation at full resolution. So the entire architecture is end-to-end, -end, super simple and fast. And with this reformulation, we can build map view representations simply by encoding geometry into the positional embedding. And in practice, this works quite well. On the New Scenes benchmark for vehicle map view segmentation, our transformer architecture outperforms several prior methods and runs much faster compared to similar performing models. We thank you for your attention, and for more information, feel free to drop by in the poster session.